flex. Hey, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the ASUS Prime B450 Plus motherboard. Now, I purchased this back in January 2019, as you can see. Uh, it's nearly three years old, but it's still a very good motherboard, and a lot of places actually still sell this for more than what I actually paid for. However, I think Amazon is the cheapest bet. I will have links in the description as well. So taking a look inside, you can see there we have the motherboard. You do get two SATA cables, and of course, we have our standard IO shield. It's just the generic one you get. And of course, you do get an M.2 riser screw as well. Further in, you can see we have the documentation, and it's also included a driver uh, CD, and of course, 100% consult your user's guide whenever you're dealing with your motherboard. So yeah, that's pretty much everything you do get inside, and now we can finally have a look at the motherboard itself. Now for me, whenever I'm building PCs, I always wear gloves. Anti-static gloves are really handy when it comes to building PCs, and it's definitely something I recommend, especially to first-time PC builders. Um, you don't want to get an, any perspirant from your hands onto your motherboard or any electrical discharge. Now, as you can see, this motherboard is nice and clean. If we take a look at the bottom here, it's also quite clean. Not, not a lot going on at the bottom. Um, but yeah, we can now take a look at our user's guide and make sure you do consult this. There is a nice little QR code at the product introduction page and this will bring you to a PDF file that will allow you to view your motherboard's pin definition. Quite handy to have. All right, so now let's go through the motherboard overview and starting at the very top left, you can see we have our A-pin PSU connector. And of course we do have our RAM slots as well. So these are four RAM slots. Now make sure you consult your manual for the supported speeds for RAM. And then at the top right, we do have our RGB header. Now this does support 5050 multicolored LED strips. Here's another close-up of the CPU power connector. And here we have the chassis fan and the CPU fan connector as well. Now with the RAM sticks that I'm using for this board, only two are supported. If you do want to use four RAM sticks and fill up all your slots, then definitely check the uh, RAM compatibility for this particular motherboard. I always recommend you do that before you make the purchase. So now we're going to take a look at the CPU socket and this motherboard does come with AMD's AM4 socket design. So this will allow you to support AMD's Ryzen processor second generation. Now the two black brackets with the four screws, that's the brackets you take off when you want to connect your CPU fan. On the right hand side we have our 24 pin PSU connector, so this is your motherboard's power connector. And over on this side we have our chassis fan number one, and just beside it we also have the all-in-one pump connector as well for liquid cooling. Now the third chassis fan connector is located just at the bottom right corner uh, towards the SATA connectors. And speaking of the SATA connectors, you do get six in total, two at the top, and then you also get four more at the bottom. Now these SATA connectors are six gigabit a second speeds, so it's plenty enough for all the devices, storage devices that you'll attach. So now let's go through the headers at the bottom of the motherboard. So the first one is the front panel connector. And then we have the USB 3.0 Gen 1 connector, USB 2.0, which is USB 56 and 34, serial port connector, front panel audio connector, front panel audio again, this time AAFP. Then at the top here, we have the clear RTC header. Now let's take a look at the PCI Express slots. So from the bottom up, we have our PCI Express 2.0 by one slot, and you do get three of these. And then we have two PCI Express 3.0 slash 2.0 by 16 slots, which are the bigger ones just at the top. So we're coming up towards the end, and then I just want to show you guys this part here, which is basically the LED strip that you get on this motherboard. As you can see, it comes all along the way of the left-hand side of the board, and this can be controlled directly from your Aura settings. So Aura, I believe, is the RGB system that they have, AMD has for this particular board and other boards as well. So for the last part, I'm now gonna go through the IO panel. 
and you can consult chapter 1 page 6 of the user's guide if you want to get more details about each connector. So starting off with the top left you have your PS2 keyboard and mouse combo port, two USB 2.0 ports and of course we have our DVI-D port as well, standard HDMI port, USB Type-C and this is USB 3.1 up to 5 gigabits a second port and then we have USB 3.1 Gen 1 up to 10 gigabits a second port and then we have a USB 3.1 Gen 1 port and this is up to 5 gigabits a second we have the RJ45 network port and this is for your Ethernet cable and then finally we have our audio ports which are the line in which is the light blue, the line out, and of course we have the microphone, which is the pink at the end. So yeah, that's pretty much everything for the I.O. panel. I'm pretty sure I covered most of the details for this motherboard. If you have any questions at all, do leave a comment down below. There will be links in the description as well for you to check out. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.